Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to our humble little kingdom, and diplomacy is not an option. Now, I've been doing a little bit off recording because I ran into some pathing issues, so I had to take down the whole wall and push it out a little bit uh, because the builders were getting stuck behind it. Uh, so that was a big issue that I had to deal with, and as you can see, we're dealing with it now. I also got into farming. I did not know, but uh, I'm upgrading this to Tier 2 did give us farming, which is our first food resource that doesn't fully deplete so once we run out of uh fisheries here we don't have to freak out and try and find more food sources so that's really what i've been focused on so yeah so far it's going good right now i'm just kind of waiting for more stone to come in i think i might go full board into stone and we'll get one more uh mine here so we can actually get into that now obviously what i want to do next is close this in so we can at least say that we have walls all the way around our kingdom uh but we'll wait a little bit for that let's actually go out right now and and see if we can utilize our new fancy troops to actually get some of these resources that are around here. Actually, with that in mind, too, we want to get the obelisk down. That will give me astral ray. So we'll put that right here. Am I fighting something right now? Oh, my God. Am I ever fighting something right now? Good thing I got spearmen here. I might lose a few units, but I need to be more risky now. I, I need to kill these things so I can get their loot. Because if I can get more of these gems... Uh, before the next war, that will make my life way easier. We did, unfortunately, lose one swordsman there. Oh, sorry, archer, but that's okay. All right, we got another uh, outpost here. I'm going to go right for it, wasting no time trying to get these things down as quickly as possible. This is actually a really nice zone. There was only a few troops there, and we got one of their main hamlets down. There we go. Is that gold? I can't tell. I think that's just the rock outface. That's that's one thing that I'm going to want to figure out today is gold because I am getting to the point where I need that. All right, being that we have some stone now, though, let's start walling this off. So we're going to build a nice large wall here. I think I'm going to do the massive tower. Can hold up to 25 shooters or four war machines or one trebuchet. I want to prep for when we need those things. And right beside that, I'm going to put uh, a doorway. All right, now that we have this obelisk down, we can actually do astral ray. That takes five of my uh, gems, though. So I don't want to do that unless I absolutely have to. I do know it's ab absolutely disastrous, though. So if we need it, we at least have it. All right, we got a giant here. That's a little scary, but I got to take him down. Man, those spearmen definitely worth the purchase was that a did i see a trebuchet shot or something oh that's my trebuchet i didn't even know i brought it with me okay this might be too big of a civilization <laughs> no kings they have signs so if you don't know the whole story of this game is the peasant uprising so these are all peasants trying to attack me i'm gonna pull back only because i accidentally brought my siege engine with me and i don't want to risk losing that because i can't actually make those yet we should probably get into siege engines as quickly as possible here. So to get that, we need the engineer guild, I believe. And that should unlock at least catapults. Now I build that probably in army. Yes, engineer guild. Perfect. I have enough. I may as well do it, I guess. Just going to finish up that. We are technically now fully surrounded. Hopefully before day 20, we should have stone all the way around this wall. Thanks to this massive mining operation I got going on out here. All right, one thing I am going to want to do more of is uh, homes. So I think I'm going to actually build homes on the outskirts here. What the hell? Oh, what? The, what the, where the hell did you come from? Every now and then, there's just a random enemy that decides to attack me like a little jerk. Okay, uh, Catapult, you're not really helping too much. But well, that's what my spearmen's for, God damn it. <laughs> Oh, the, the ragdoll was great. And we can actually utilize taverns to eat less food. I think food's going to be a big issue. So I'm going to throw uh, a tavern out here. We're going to have uh, like a small little outpost outside of our walls here. Oh, wow. This is much bigger than I expected. I guess I didn't need to put it down here. So this radius will buff any house in that zone. That kind of worked out because all my homes are right here. So anyone living in those homes will eat 15% less food, which is great. And I want to start focusing on getting a bigger army. So we're going to just put a crap load of homes around this. I actually, before I screw up, if sometimes if you put things too close together, they can bug out. I've learned. So we're just going to spread it out just a little bit more than that. All right. Another issue I'm having is my lumber mills, as you can see, not as useful as they once were just because we're de destroying all the trees. So I'm slowly <laughs> clear cutting this whole area. Thankfully, there's a lot over here. So I think I'll throw one more lumber mill over there. 
And my other fishery is out of food. So yeah, I'm going to slowly just move over to farmland. It's just easier than dealing with these fish schools that are constantly depleting. All right, I'm going to give harsh training for my spearmen. I want to focus on them. So uh, that's going to allow me to do more damage with them. We should also get a few more units. I didn't want to go too crazy with them, but we're going to need some more. I think I'm going to go crazy with the crossbowmen as well. Only because I have lots of walls to fill up now. Let's also not forget we have the Siege Tower now. Build Engineer Guild 2. Build Engineer Guild 2. Okay, so unfortunately, all I can make is the Catapults right now. Can I actually upgrade to that? No, I need currency. And I'm assuming that comes via market. So we'll do that soon. Let's get at least a, a few more Catapults, though. And we got visual of the attack. It's going to be coming in the northeast again. Not good for me. Not good at all for me. I know it should attack here then. And of course, that's where my weakest walls are. So we're going to hopefully upgrade all these. Uh, I'm going to turn those into top priority. And we should be able to get these stone by the end of this. But this is obviously the worst part of my whole castle. God damn it. Also, it's the only part of my castle that I built on the outside of the walls. So that could be a good thing and a bad thing, though. I could use those as cannon fodder and keep them busy by destroying those. All right, and here they come. I'm praying they don't go to the other side of my kingdom. I'm always nervous about that. I don't have enough of a crew to defend both sides. So we're just going to wait here. They should be coming through this forest again. Okay, and here they are. We did pull them over, thankfully. Just going to hold the line here. It's so... I hate this because I never see how big the crew is because they're always in the forest attacking from this side for whatever reason. All right, let's maybe let these guys come back a bit. And there we go. There is a lot of angry peasants. I'm not going to waste any of my gems if I don't need to. Or crystals. I'm really glad I got the spears early on. Because as you can see, I'm just holding out thanks to pretty much them. And that's it. Okay, getting a little nervous now. I wonder if I should use the astral ray. It's very tempting. It's looking like... They're starting to run out of back units, though. So I think I'm going to take a risk, take some death losses, and save my uh, attacks until the next wave, because that one might be the one where I truly do need it. We actually did really, really good there. All things... I don't think we lost anybody. Good job, guys. Man, we had just enough healers. Whew! All right, let's also get the hospital down just to uh, deal with diseases if they do indeed come. So far, we haven't had to deal with that, but just to play it safe, I wanted to get that a long time ago. We should also get the market. Where is that? Ah, there it is. Access to market trading. Here you can exchange some resources for others at current and fair rate. I don't... I guess that's probably not how you get gold. So there's got to be gold veins. I mean, regardless, we'll get it. Maybe I can exchange for them. I don't know. Oh, Oh, these guys got a freaking catapult. Nope. Peace out. All right. Unfortunately, we are getting low on food, as you can see. So that's the next thing I got to deal with. So we're doing another farm way out here just because I don't really have much room. Uh, and I do want to get some homes up and whatnot. We only have 14 free workers right now. So that's something we definitely want to do. And we'll put them around my tavern here and continue building out this way. All right. Let's see how this works. Okay. So I can buy and sell... So each piece of gold costs me 40 of it looks like any resource. Oh, sorry. No, actually, depending on the resource type, it changes. Is this the only way I can earn gold, though? That's very interesting if that's the case. I mean, regardless, one thing we're going to have an influx of now is wood. So I'm going to trade that for two. Research and complete. there it goes. Oh, that's so cool. Man, gold is going to take a while, though. So we basically got to collect resources to trade for gold. Oh, man. Okay, this is uh, an actual hamlet here. Oh! Oh, God! Run! Run, everybody! Run! I didn't realize they had catapults. Oh, this is this is what I was worried about. Oh, I just ran into another team. My God, there's so many freaking teams over here. This is a bad part of the map to be on. I guess right at the edges are where the peasants are going to be truly powerful. Oh my god, I keep just running out of resources. I'm on my final mine. I'm going to have to go out to this outside mine. So travel times are going to be worse. My goal right now is to get to level 3 town hall. That will give me all the upgrades that I want. I really want to get into trebuchets as quickly as possible. Because uh, I think siege engines are where we're going to win this game if we possibly can. We're doing okay now. We're uh, keeping up with the food output. I just need a crap load of stone and wood right now. 
320 and 350 to be more specific so i don't think we'll get that before the next fight but we should be able to get to tier three after that assuming i don't waste too much money here i got all the upgrades for my newest units Ooh, you know what i think i'm gonna get this big rock so i think it's worth it catapult gives a 25 percent hit area being that we're getting a lot of catapults i'm actually making some right now uh yeah we want to make sure those things are doing as much damage as possible okay and we've gotten sight of where we're gonna be attacked i hate it when it's always in these freaking corners because every one of my corners <laughs> kind of spreads out where i should put my troops so they're either going to attack on this wall or this one uh <laughs> great because i put all my big structures on the other side hoping they would attack over there so do i have enough time to put down a structure possibly i think i'm going to try it and we'll see what happens and then hopefully we can put uh these catapults on every one of the towers all right there we go I was able to get every catapult put Enemy on both sides we also have a crap load of crossbowmen in the middle i just have my spears for the time being until we figure out which side they're coming from i can pretty much guarantee it's this side so we'll bring everybody over here for the time being and we might slowly move over the archers and everything if we do need the support oh this guy's shooting yep i saw oh thank god i saw him move look at this placement you can't get better than this oh this is great all right bring it in hopefully the other catapults will be within range just trying to see how much we're gonna have to deal with here it's looking like we're gonna have to deal with a lot obviously we can't see how many there actually is but i think we should be okay let's bring these guys around here we'll kind of wrap around them and keep my healers and everything safe in the back oh man i built those catapults in perfect time i definitely think getting that research is going to help us immensely with this wave as well i don't want to push too far ahead because then these catapults will be out of range so i think i'm actually going to let these guys come in a bit there we go bring them in bring them in the more the merrier and hold out once again oh my god it's just a constant wave my healers i still only have four of them they are doing a really good long job at this front lines, though. All right, I'm looking. I see red over here. Hold on, just to play it safe. Oh, it's just that thing. Okay, I've been slowly trading as well, trying to get enough resources for my big upgrade, as you can see. Uh, actually, let's pause. I'm going to need more storage, I think. All right, so I'm just going to build another storage. Where should I put this, actually? We, we want to utilize these things, obviously. This storage is constantly filled, so let's put this over here for the time being. Actually, how much is left in this iron vein 16 <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have put it over there i'm gonna need some new iron soon all right that's it though we survived it without using any of my uh powers man these spearmen are doing so good i'm excited to see uh how the hammer guys work because that's tier three and we should be getting that pretty soon here once we get enough stone all right well once again another wave and no deaths at all we just held out. We are just building enough units to uh, do that perfectly. What is fighting? Uh, oh, okay. So there's some guys over here. Well, I'm running out of uh, resources. I'm sucking this whole world dry. Uh, yeah, I even timber is getting hard to find. That's at least close to my base. So I have this kind of uh, iron factory over here it's not too far away from my base but uh yeah we're gonna have to start moving outwards here i'm thinking maybe even putting a second wall around my main city would be smart kind of further out or should i just focus on defending my main city i don't know but the important part is i just realized we have enough to finally get the upgrade i have been patiently waiting for we are now at end game pretty much because that's as high as we can get on the on the tech tree what i'm most excited about hopefully is upgrading to trebuchets because i feel like that's going to be a really good thing to deal with now i haven't earned any money so we're gonna have to start trading for some money i'm doing so well with food i've actually been trading food now so i'm going to continue to do that for small amounts of gold because well it works out well <laughs> no trees to cut I have, I have depleted the tree resource. That's a, that's a good problem to have. So yeah, we're pushing this back slowly. I think we'll just move another one temporary over here uh, as we deforest the entire map, essentially. And finally, we are done. Oh my God, now I have a big choice to do. Do I want to focus on siege weapons or specialized units? The hammer guy and the horseman. I think I'm going to focus on siege weapons and go more of a defensive strategy. So I should be able to upgrade this right away. 
Oh, I just realized we're getting attacked from the top right now. Once again, do not know which side they're going to come from, but everything's on the other side of my castle, so we're going to slowly move things over. Okay, and that's done. Are we going to get a trebuchet in time, do you think? I think I'm going to do it. Ballista has no minimum firing range, which is really cool, but it only shoots one enemy at a time. I want to focus more on explosive damage. So yeah, we're going to build one trebuchet. I really hope we can get at least one for this fight. <sighs> oh, it's actually looking like it's building pretty quick. So we actually might have enough time. Uh, Where did my trebuchet go? Is it not done? What the heck? I had one building. Oh, there it is. What's he, what are you doing over there? Oh, damn it. Okay, well, maybe I can bring it in time. It's <laughs> so frustrating. I told you not to go that way. It's really slow, too. Uh, regardless, I think we got b bigger problems to deal with. It's looking like he's po they're possibly coming over here. So I'm hoping for that. And hopefully I can get my trebuchet there in time. Well, well, well. It looks like we are getting the trebuchet in time. Oh, uh, our first legit siege weapon. Oh, God. Okay, we want to hopefully lure these guys over this way. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Trebuchet can make it. Look at that explosion. Okay, well, uh, not where I expected them to come from, but we should hopefully be able to intervene. Thankfully, the trebuchet is within range. That's all I really care about because check out this. <laughs> it's so destructive. Oh, this is getting chaotic, though. All right, I'm going to keep an eye out. I want to bring a bunch of them in before I use my special abilities, but I think now is the time we really want to start utilizing some of these uh, astral rays and whatnot. So we're going to actually do that now. And... <laughs> oh, my God. Is that enough? I don't know if that's going to be enough. I might need to do another one. Oh, my God. I'm getting nervous. I'm, I'm getting very nervous now. There, it's, it's nonstop. They're still spotting in. I might actually die. All right. Well, I didn't want to do this, but yes, it's time for another astral ray. Oh, I just killed my team. I didn't know I could kill my team with this. Oh, this is bad. Okay. I think I should be okay now. I just wasted a lot of my crystals, though. I'm really glad I saved those things, though. Run away, lady. Run away. We have problems. They came in from a weird angle. All right, but we did survive it after all. <laughs> that was not as nice as most fights, though. I'm just really glad we got the trebuchets now, and we can hopefully... Where do those guys come from? And hopefully we can defend this castle much more. I'm going to put trebuchets freaking everywhere because their range is much better than I expected. Do you really got to take out the trees, though? I kind of need those things. All right, guys. Well, somehow we're still surviving this thing. We have a stone fortress now, and I guess the next focus is going to be trebuchets galore and hopefully getting to those uh, tier three units because we have unlocked tier three gameplay. So yeah, next episode will be a lot of trading for gold, hopefully getting better units and uh, seeing if we can survive day 40. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.